You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Since the beginning of popular music, there have always been inappropriate and controversial acts surrounding certain artists. The first example of this was Elvis Presley. He was considered inappropriate because of his new music and wild behavior. Here is an example of such act. Many artists today have controversial music, lyrics, and music videos. What we mean by controversy is what some people might find offensive and inappropriate. Actually, the definition of controversy is questionable and debatable material. This offensive material promotes drugs and alcohol abuse, gangs, gun violence, demeaning of women, Satan, and anti-authority. The most popular artist today accused of controversy is 50 Cent. His videos often depict shootings and other crimes. Since 50 Cent is so popular, people believe that the youth of today follow an artist like 50 Cent and imitate the way he is featured in his songs and videos. Here's a clip from his video, Many Men. Let's go, let's go. Trying to be what I'm destined to be And niggas trying to take my life away I put a hole in a nigga for fucking with me My back on the wall, now you gon' see Better watch how you talk when you talk about me Cause I'll come and take your life away We walked through the halls and asked some volunteers some questions And uh, do you think there should be more censorship in music Or is it the parents' job to explain to their kids what to listen to? Well, it's actually not the parents' job, it should be the kids' job to know what they should listen to and what they should listen to. And uh, sometimes it should be more censored. Personally, I listen to rap. I listen to rap rock. I like the way it sounds. And I don't think it needs to be, uh, I don't think it needs to be uh, censored at all. How do you think music influences kids' behavior today? Uh, kids choose their music based on emotion. An angry emotion, choosing an angrier tune such as metal, uh, certain types of punk, even rap or heavier rock, is an outlet for their anger rather than doing something in a more negative manner. Much like 50 Cent, another popular target is Marilyn Manson. Confusion. Confused about his sexuality. Confused about his destiny in life. In his lyrics, he glorifies Satan, talks about human mutilation, torture, and suicide. He is seen as offensive because of the way he dresses in his videos, on stage performances, and in public. He was even blamed for the Columbine incident because the kids involved listened to his music. So give me another question. Do you, do you think violent music, music influences violent or bad behavior? And vice versa, does light music uh, promote good behavior? I don't think that, 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 that violent music necessarily promotes violent behavior. I think that, um, you know, um, oftentimes the media will say that, 
But I think that most people do know the difference between what's right and wrong. And they may hear the music, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to go out and behave in that violent way. Uh, do you think it's fair to blend the music of today in relation to the crimes that the youth commits? No, I don't, because even though some people may listen to angrier music that could influence them, I don't think that they're going like, to listen to every word and then go rob a bank just because the music or the person says that, oh, let's rob a bank in the song. How do you think music influences kids' behavior today? Uh, I don't really think it affects it that much. It's minor effect. More good or more bad? More good. How so? Uh, I just think it does more good. That's good to know. <laughs> How do you think music influences kids' behavior today? <laughs> Um, I think it influences them because it gives them something to like turn to, like say they're having troubles and stuff. They can turn to music and it will influence them on how to dress the way they want and how to act the way they want. Do you think that violent music influences violent or bad behavior? Uh, I don't think it would directly influence it, like it could have some subliminal meaning, but directly I think, I don't think it would be violent music, I think it would be violence at home or violence at school or bullying or something that would influence something like that. In the end, it is up to you, the listener, to decide what you want to listen to and how you want to interpret it, because it's your responsibility to remind yourself that it's just music. No matter how heavy or how offensive some music may seem, its sole purpose is to entertain. There are many other influential issues that affect youth that people fail to realize, such as parents, troubles at school, stress from work, peer pressure, and the beginning of their adult lives. <laughs> Do you think it's fair to blame the music of today in relation to the crimes that youth commits? Uh, I don't think it's fair at all because, like, how Marilyn Manson got blamed for Columbine just because the kids had Marilyn Manson albums. That's like in the 70s. Somebody robs a, like, a liquor store and they blame, like, Led Zeppelin because they have a Led Zeppelin t shirt. It's basically, it's just, they're just trying to scapegoat something that is easily, that the purpose is easily found. That, like, the kids were clearly overreacting at, like, Columbine. The vi I don't think the music has anything to do with the violence. Uh, do you think there should be more censorship on the music or artist, or is it the parents' job to explain to their kids what they're listening to? Yeah, I think it's the parents' job. There shouldn't be any censorship at all. Like, it's freedom. Of, like, you can't be racist or anything. You can't be o overtly racist. But it's censorship, music is like it's ba it's free speech, and it's something people need to know. So I don't think it should be censored at all. So either all of it's okay to talk about, or none of it is. Yeah.